So MetaMask is a digital wallet that's very useful and I've been using it in a lot of my other videos. So now I've been wondering, how can I use MetaMask wallet in Python so that we can programmatically check the balance of our MetaMask wallet, do some transactions and things like that? So that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So let's check it out. So first of all, I'll just introduce you to MetaMask, what the wallet actually is, and then we'll get straight into the interactive demo, in which first we'll check out our MetaMask wallet, then I'm going to introduce to you guys the Web3 module, which is the module that we're going to be using in Python, so that we can interact and work with our MetaMask wallet, doing things like getting the balance of our wallet with all the coins and tokens, and then also doing a transaction, which is moving money from one wallet to another. So let's get into it. Okay, so MetaMask is a very simple, open source, yet very popular technology used as a digital wallet, like I said before. Now, you can think of this like kind of like a physical wallet, and it has a bunch of membership cards, credit cards, things like that, for many different places, all containing money. Now, if we remove the need to use physical cards, then MetaMask would be a great digital wallet to hold crypto tokens, NFTs, and cryptocurrencies. It also works with the Ethereum network and most other blockchain networks and contains many test networks to publish tokens, hold tokens and things like that before just so that you can test out before putting it into production. Now, MetaMask can also connect to a number of dApps, short for decentralized apps, which are just an apps that don't have a central authority and a peer to peer network. So yeah, that's just a very simple introduction to MetaMask. Now, we're going to be using Python so that we can actually work with MetaMask. So let's get into the demo so that we can transfer money and get the and work with MetaMask in Python. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, since my M1 Mac may not have all of the correct dependencies to download the Web3 module, I'm going to be using a different type of IDE. This one's going to be online, and it's called Replit. So, replit.com. It's a very simple IDE that's web-based so that we can use Python programs. So, the first thing you have to do, if this is your first time, you have to sign into Replit. And then we're just going to press create up here. So, I'm going to press create, and this will create us a REPL, which is kind of like a folder structure that we can work with. So, all it has all of these programming languages, so as you can see, there's quite a lot. But I'm going to do Python, which is the most popular, as you can see here. And then for the title, I'm going to say working with MetaMask, because that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm going to press Create from REPL. All right, so here we go. As you can see, we have a console and a shell. We're going to be working with the shell today. And let's just go here. All right, so here we have main.py. So now we're going to actually be creating our program. So the first thing I'm going to do, before we can actually work with MetaMask in Python, we're going to have to get down, we're going to have to connect to our MetaMask wallet. And before we do that, we're going to have to import our program, import our module. So I'm going to say from Web3, which is our module, import Web3. Web okay. And then the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to make a variable called Web3. And this is going to be our main variable, which will contain all of the attributes and functions that we're going to use today. So Web3 equals, and we're just going to initialize it using a module, Web3. And then we're going to be needing to, so that we can actually connect to all of our modules and functions, we're going to need an HTTP HTTP provider. So this HTTP provider is going to be in the form of a endpoint. And to get an endpoint, I'm going to use a technology called Infura. Now, Infura is a technology that's used to create endpoints and API gateways for Web3 technologies. So I've already logged into this website, but if it's your first time, you're going to have to make an account. And then what I'm going to do is press visit dashboard right here. And then here we're at our dashboard. So here at the top right corner, you can see create new project. And that's what we need to do since we need to get a new endpoint. And I'm going to press create new project. And then for product, I'm going to say Ethereum because we're going to be working with Ethereum here. And then for the project name, I'm going to be saying working with MetaMask. Same thing as before. MetaMask. And then I'm going to press create. And that should create us a new Infura project that will include the product project ID, project secret, and all the endpoints here. So now I'm going to be using the HTTPS endpoint here because that's what we need. So I'm going to copy that here. And then I'm going to go back to our replit so that we can actually use it. So here I'm going to say web3, which is our module, dot. And then we're going to use the function HTTP 
provider. Now this will just let us connect to our Infura project right now and with the endpoint then we can get all the functions and stuff we need so that we can work with our MetaMask account. So the first thing I'm going to do is check if it actually worked because we don't really know if it's connected yet. So to actually check if it's connected I'm going to use the print function and then I'm going to print web3 which is our variable that we've initialized here so web3 dot and then i'm going to use the function is connected now this should return us with a string or this should return us with a boolean value of either true or false hopefully it's true because if it's true then that'll mean that it's connected so i'm going to press command s to save it and then finally let's just run our program so python3 and then main.py and oh no module named web3 alright so maybe that means that we would have to pip install it so I'm gonna say pip install web3 and then hopefully it, it'll install it yeah okay so it's saying collecting web3 all this so let's just wait for that to install alright so there we go it's installed our module so if we rerun our program python3 main.py then it should work now. It should say true. All right, so it might take a little bit. And yeah, there you go, so it's saying true, which means that the Web3 is connected to our Infura, to our Infura project. All right, so there we go. This just means that now all of our functions will work from now on. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use my MetaMask wallet. So as you can see in the top right corner, I have MetaMask installed, which is my in extension as a Chrome extension. So I'm just going to type in my password because I've already created a, a MetaMask account. And just for the sake of this video, I'm going to open it up in a new tab so that you guys can see it better. I'm going to close out Infura. We don't need it anymore. So here I have my Ethereum. So here I have my MetaMask account, but it, as you can see, it has zero Ethereum. It has zero anything. It has zero dollars in it. But what I need is this account address. So I'm going to press copy to clipboard. So this account address, it basically just tells us that this is the account that I'm looking for. So I'm going to use it to get our balance. So I'm going to make a variable called balance here, and I'm going to use the Web3 variable. Like I said, all of the functions that we're going to be using is going to be coming from this Web3 var variable. So I'm going to say balance equals Web3 dot eth which stands for ethereum dot get get balance because i want to get the balance of the ethereum because that's what it's showing here zero ethereum so get balance and then the get balance function which it just means it'll get the balance and then now you need the account address and i've already copied it so i'm just going to control v here and then yeah so now if i print this then it should show us the balance of my account which should be zero so print balance all right and then we're gonna run this again hopefully it shows zero yeah there we go so it shows zero which is the account balance if i had some money if i had ethereum in my account then it would show that it had that but now if you're gonna test this out and you have some money in your account then beware because it might show a really long line of numbers which isn't true because this program it doesn't know how to distinguish between decimals but um but if you look at it without decimals then that should be the correct number so i'm going to press clear and yeah so now we've successfully gotten the balance of our metamask pro of our metamask wallet in a python program so the next thing i'm going to do is a little bit more advanced now i'm going to transfer from one account to another account so here i'm going to get two variables the from account and the to account because we want to transfer from one account to another so we need both addresses so maybe i'm going to say from account equals and then i'll make a string with the account address and then to account and then i'll make a string with uh the account address i'll add these later and then finally we need a private key now this private key is going to come from my account and how to get it i'm not actually going to show you because it's very pers because you shouldn't show anyone else your private key. So how you get it, though, is you have to go to account de details. You have to press these three dots in MetaMask, account details, and then export private key. And then you would type your MetaMask password, and then it shows it to you. So yeah, that's how to get your private key. Then you would put it in this string. I'll put it in later. 
and then what we want to do is now we have these accounts we have these addresses in a string but I want to tell our module that hey these are the addresses that I want to use so I'm gonna make a variable called address one and then that's gonna be called web3 which is our module dot and then we're gonna use a function called to check some address yeah to check some address and then we're gonna say from account which is our variable here so from account and then address two i'm actually going to copy paste address one because it's basically the same thing but to account okay address two and then instead of from account it's to account all right now this will all work once i add the once i actually add the values of all these three things i'll add them later though Okay, and then the next variable we need to create is a variable called nonce. And what this means is basically in cryptography, nonce is basically just like a variable or an object that can only be used once, which makes sense for the transaction. Okay, so nonce equals web3 dot, dot, and then we're going to use the eth attribute again for Ethereum, and then we're going to say get transaction count, just so that we can actually get the amount of transactions for address one because address one is what we're going to take the money from and then put it into the other one and then we're going to put it into the other one so i'm going to say address one and then now we're going to have to mention like how much we actually want to transfer so i'm going to i'm going to make a variable called tx and i'm getting all of these functions and attributes from the documentation which i'll put a link in the description down below because there's a lot more to connecting metamask to python than i'm covering in the documentation okay so tx equals and then words and then i'm going to use curly braces for all of the values so the first value we have to provide is the nonce and then again the nonce object is our variable so i'm going to say nonce and then the two whoever we're sending the money to is going to be the two account is going to be the address two because that's the two account okay and then the next value we need to pro provide is the actual like how much money we're going to be sending so i'm going to say value is and then web3 which is our fun which is our variable here so web3 dot and then we're going to say two way and what this means is how much money we're just going to be providing so i'm going to say maybe like 0 0.001 and then ether because we want to send 0 0.001 ethereum okay and then next what we're going to be doing is gas which is just telling us the gas fee now gas fee is kind of like an interest rate that ethereum or the network might take out and i'm just gonna say twenty one thousand. and then for the gas price gas price the actual price of this is going to be web3 dot two way again just showing us the number the amount and then we're gonna say 40 40 and then for whatever the symbol is we're gonna say gui now gui is like a very 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 minuscule amount all right so those are all of the thing those are all the things we need to, to provide so that we can actually have the transaction to be done now what i'm going to do is create now in normal transactions that i've done in my past videos for metamask what we needed to do was sign the transaction so that metamask could actually have so that whatever we're transacting can actually have access to our metamask wallet so we're going to have to sign sign our transaction so i'm going to make a variable for that signed underscore tx equals and then web3 dot ethereum again dot account this time since we've already connected our metamask account i'm going to say web3 dot ethereum dot account and then we're going to use the function sign transaction so that we can actually sign this transaction to send money from one account to another so i'm going to sign transaction and then obviously we needed to prov provide all these values in the tx variable and then also we need to provide our private key so that we can actually know which so that we can actually have access to the account okay and then private key is the variable there i'll add it later and then the final thing we need to do is actually s like complete the transaction actually carry it out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say tx underscore transaction 
and this will be our transaction variable. So we're, I'm going to say web3.eth, which is Ethereum, and then now the function to actually send the transaction or send the money is send raw transaction. Now this will actually send the money. And then again, we need to provide this sign TX so that we make sure that MetaMask signed it. So sign TX dot and then raw transaction. All right, so there we go. This is how to actually send money from our from account to the to account. And now let's actually test it out. Obviously, the gas, fees, the gas fees are pretty high, especially if I'm on Ethereum mainnet. So it's probably going to say insufficient funds, but I'm just going to enter in the from to and private key so that we can test this out. All right, so I've entered in my from account and to account. These are just two Ethereum accounts that I had. And then for the private key, I have a config.py that I've just created. And in the config.py, I just added private key as a variable equals to, and then in the string, I added my key. And then now I'm going to import that in. So I'm going to say import config so that we can get all the variables from that Python file into this Python file. So to do that, I'm going to say private key equals, and then I'm going to say config. No, actually, first of all, I have to import it as something. So I'm going to import config as config and then private key equals config dot and then whatever the variable name is. In this case, it was private key. And I'm going to include this into a string function so that we know it's string str. OK, so there we go. Now we're all set to actually complete a transaction to get money from the from account exactly precisely 0.001 ether along with the gas fees of 40 gui of 2100 along with the gas fees and then transfer it to the two account using our python program solely we're not doing this anything manual all right so let's run it okay so i'm going to say python 3 uh, main.py and right now it probably sh will say insufficient funds because like i said the gas fees of ethereum are pretty Hi. Yeah, there we go. Message insufficient funds for gas price plus, plus value. Although, if you do have that much money in your wallet, then it would work. So there we go. We now know how to create a transaction and get the balance of our MetaMask wallet, all through Python. Alright, so that was working with MetaMask in Python. Now, I'm really enjoying creating these crypto-based or MetaMask... I'm, now, I'm really enjoying these crypto-based and web three related content. So stay tuned for more. Thanks very much for watching. If y'all had any doubts, please comment down below. I'd love to help you out if you're stuck with any MetaMask Python questions or issues. Please like, subscribe, all that jazz. Until then, you can learn anything.